This is Dr. Ben Johnson, and I was reading the uh, paper today and read a headlines which caught my interest, and that said, mammograms are less crucial in detecting breast cancer. Well, you know, that really isn't news. We've known for over a decade that mammograms are not uh, beneficial in, in the sense that they save lives. Mammograms do not save lives, so this is really not news. But this was a new study published out of Norway in the New England Journal of Medicine just uh, this month. So, and what it showed was that there was a 10% decrease in death rates among women who had mammograms. But it also showed that the women that did not have mammograms had an 8% decrease in death over the same period of time. So there was a 2% difference for women who received mammograms versus those who didn't. In other words, there was no difference because 2%, if you understand statistics, is insignificant. It, it has no value. Uh, so there's no benefit in receiving mammograms as far as longevity or life or saving lives. Dr. Welch from the Dartmouth Institute for Health Policy reviewed the study and he said that you would have to take 2,500 mammograms for 10 years as 2,500 women receive a mammogram for 10 years in a row to save one life from breast cancer. So that's 25,000 mammograms to save one woman's life from breast cancer. Now what he doesn't say is that we might cause 50 or 100 cases of cancer by taking 25,000 mammograms because what are mammograms? Mammograms are x-rays. What do x-rays cause? Cancer. So these tests, these mammograms, are not benign. They cause damage. It's x-rays and it's cumulative damage. Every year you get a mammogram, your chances of getting breast cancer increase by about 1% each year. So 20 years of mammograms, you have just volunteered for a 20% increase in breast cancer rate. That, that's huge. I, I have asked women all over the world if, if they would, who would volunteer for a 20% increase in breast cancer risk? I haven't had a hand go up yet. And yet, by doing these year after year, when there is no known benefit from receiving them, uh, it, it just begins to astound the imagination that physicians are continuing to recommend these damaging exams. Uh, the National Cancer Institute recently released evidence that among women under 35, mammograms may cause 75 breast cancers for every five that it identifies. So that's a ratio of five to one. They may cause five cases of breast cancer for every one that they identify. Uh, this is not the way we need to be treating women's health, women's breasts, causing more cancer than we're even identifying. So clearly mammography does not work as a screening device. Now that doesn't mean that it can't be used at certain times in medicine to identify certain things. But as a screening test, it's causing more cases of cancer, causing more damage, than it is identifying and saving lives because mammograms are x-rays, x-rays cause cancer. So we have to identify different ways of screening mammograms. Uh, that, that may be blood work, there are good uh, sources of blood work to check for tumor markers out there. That would be thermography. Thermography is an incredible underutilized technology especially for, for breast screening. Uh, that might involve ultrasound, MRIs, although that's still a technology in its infancy. Uh, we, we've got to find a different way and, and stamp with approval those ways that do not increase your risk of breast cancer, that are not damaging, that do, do not use cancer-causing radiation mammograms to identify these because they are not healthy, they are not saving lives. That doesn't mean that one person doesn't have their life saved over here by identifying a, a cancer on a mammogram, but that's to say that we're at least causing that many cases of cancer or more over here. 
So I'm not telling any individual woman that her life may not have been saved by a mammogram, but I'm saying collectively we are not saving any more lives than we are causing uh, deaths from the radiation, the x-rays from mammograms. In fact, we may be causing more deaths than we are saving lives. Because over here, uh, over here, in the save life category are a lot of DCIS cancers, which probably would not have caused uh, the death in that person anyway. They are not really cancer. In fact, by irradiating those people and giving them chemo, we may have shortened their lives uh, dramatically. So this is not a life-saving event. We need to stop doing mammograms as a screening device because they are damaging women's breath, causing breast cancer, and causing death.